Kiki, Commander of the Order of the Niger, Black Seven Star of River State, Life Venture. Your Excellency, the former governor of Edo State, the former national chairman of one progressive complex, former president of the National Labour Congress, Comrade Adam Aliu Oshimole. Your <laughs> Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Madea State, the Vice, the Honorable Speaker of the State House of Assembly, the Single Senator Marinata Nkigi, Senator Grandi Miriwa Southeast. Senatorial districts and members of National Assembly of Nigeria, former Senate President Senator John Asota Pata, the Chairman of our Great Party, Ambassador of Desmond Akawo, the Governor Candidate and my successor in waiting, and your Deputy Leaders of our State. Former Minister of Justice and Attorney General, our dear friend, former President of the Nigerian Bar Association, Rossi Okecha and Okewala, here they are here, members of State Elective Council, Chairman of the National Rulers Council, and members of their council, in particular the Israel of the Apparatus and the NY Liberal People, who are here. Is behind, I can't get it. I just would like to follow that we especially greet your delegates, particularly my lecturer in the University of Portugal, Professor Julius Yehovere, who is a member of the National Assembly. Our dear women, our dear youth, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, the great fan maker. On behalf The first is that you are happy. On behalf of the government and people of the state, most sincerely appreciate you. Thank you, our members of the delegation, for accepting to come to identify with us today to commission the eighth flyover, which is called the Roman Africa flyover. In spite of the short notice, you were in London when I spoke to you. And then my dear, your hand. This way of us, as I was saying, June, July, we flagged off the Mbolo or Oropo flyover. And the same period we flagged, we flagged off this particular flyover. So within a year, these two flyovers have been completed by Jules Bernard. And I want to say authoritatively, the MD is here. We are not going to die as far as the flyover is concerned. We have finished paying to Jules Bernard. I know who wanted to start the flyover. Of course, you know, human beings, nobody wants to make sacrifice. 
to people who are people. Yes, for a short time, that is some discomfort. For a short time, you will, of course, have to make sacrifices for this to come. And I thank my people that they gave their very the support. And today, those of them who own property here will now know that if they want to sell their property, they know what the value is now. They know what the value is. I'm not saying you should go and sell their property. <laughs> but if you will sell, it won't have been the same price before now. And today, those of you who own stores here, you now know, you don't know also the value. So before you get anything better, before development, there are going to be some discomfort. And we are, thank God, we are through with that discomfort. So I congratulate the entire people who live here and who carry out economic activities in this area for their patience. And today we are celebrating that this school has finally been completed at a record time. We have said before, we will not abandon any project we have started. We will not abandon. I have told them as well that this is my community. I have told them to go and complete all other roads that have not been awarded. We are awarded immediately. <laughs> 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 So many last night that this is my community. If I don't do it, then I don't know who will do it. I don't want to wait for my successor because he too has a community. So let me finish my own community. When he comes, let me finish his own uh, community. If everybody comes and walk like that, then that stays in the road. Let me use the opportunity to say this today. Party is like a conveyor belt. Party is a verb to take you to the destination. When you get to the destination, you come down from that uh, verb and focus on governance. Governance does not know about party. Governance does not know about ethnicity. Governance does not know about religion. Governance is for everybody. Whether those who supported you or those who did not uh, support you. That is what governance is all about. So many people have been saying, why am I inviting other people to come at promotion projects and I'm not inviting those who are supposed, according to them, that I'm my part. And first of all, there's no law that said I must only invite my party members to commission my projects. What is important is when you also invite other parties, they come and see really what they are hearing, whether it is uh, correct. I'm sure today our brother Adam Mishikoli, when he goes back, he will say, Look, all those things I've been hearing, I have gone, I have seen, and it is correct. And it is correct. And so, People should not say, uh, in fact, tomorrow people will be coming. It's not in my party. I'm one the people who is coming. It's not in my party. If anybody wants to die, you die. As he do with us, he do see with us, as he do see with us, he go to the I don't know the part where you come from, but in this part of the world, when they sweet us, they pay them. When they pay them, they pay them. If they see with us, as if they see with us, if they pay them, as if they pay them, if they see with us, as if they see with us, as if they see with us, if they pay them. Yes, so we can prepare We serve prepare We
is about United Nigeria. It's how all of us can see ourselves as one. It's how all of us can see ourselves as our brother's uh, keeper. We don't need to see ourselves that you are from this place, you are from that side. We need a Nigeria that all of us can be proud of. That I will know that truly I'm not a second class citizen. The same right you have is the same right I have. The same opportunities you have will be the same opportunities I will uh, have. No need of saying that if I'm not for this place, people will not vote for you. No. We will not want that. We want a Nigeria that everybody can say, indeed, this is the leader we have. Indeed, this is Nigeria we are looking for. Indeed, the Nigeria we are looking for has come to stay. And so for us, all we are looking for is how Nigeria will progress, how people will have food on their tables. It's not about ethnicity, it's not about the religion, it's not about party. It's about how Nigeria will progress. That is where we stand. And like I said, politics, politics now is a matter of uh, interest. You must tell me what is the interest of the people of River State. You must tell me what is the interest of my community. If my, if, my, if my state will not benefit, I will not join you. I will not join anybody who does not want my state to benefit. I will not support anybody who does not like my state. Because for us here, if you hate us, we hate you. If you like us, we like you. If you do for me, I do for you. If you fall for me, I fall for you. Agreement is agreement, yo, Jay. Agreement is agreement, yo, Jay. We have something before now. You can't begin to do sense. Agreement is agreement, yo. So, what is important about leadership is integrity. When you have lost integrity, there's nothing you can offer again. And that is the problem we are having in this country. We have politicians who stand up and make a statement. And then people are watching you to fulfill that statement you have made, the promise you have made. And then when you don't, Nigerians will now say, that is how politicians behave. I don't agree to that. Individuals can behave that way. I will not behave that way. If I say something today, I will make sure I do it. If there's any reason why I will not do it, I have to come back to you and let you know this is the reason. And that is what they call integrity. If you want to lead the people, you must lead by example. So people should stop thinking that blackmailing people will help anybody. It will not help anybody. Rather, it will damage your case more. Nobody can intimidate us. Nobody can tell us what we'll do. Nobody can tell me who is my friend. I will choose my friend. Nobody can choose my friend for me. I saw it's opportunity like I did last time to apologize to you. You know, I came to those states to make sure your candidate didn't win the election. <laughs> and I was virtually in charge every day coming out on television to take you on. And I say you will not win and I didn't win. <laughs> assignment have been done, but we now know who is who. I want to tell my people I sincerely apologize to you. I sincerely apologize. It's a national television. And, you know, each time you learn, people will praise you when you do it for them. The day you say no, you are wrong, they begin to say all sorts of uh, things. I'm sure those of them in my party before they cannot say anything without mentioning wicked. But not because I said let the writing be done, let agreement be agreement, let the endeavor be endeavor. Say that I have not become a nobody, I have not become an enemy. This 
these are people who are praising me morning, night, any day. Well, because we said, look, we had an agreement. Do this, do that. And some people believe that they will not. And we said it must be done. We stand for equity, fairness, and uh, justice. That's what we stand for. And that's what the G5 will continue to preach. We have said we are not against the calculation, but the calculation was the base on equity, fairness, and uh, justice. So I want to set up for all the things I said that time. But you two, you prepared me here. During the 2019 election, you sent in all the soldiers in this war. But the people stood firm and resisted it. So you, you did me one, me I did you one. So, Because 2019, you came here, I was watching you at the Likaya Stadium. When you, when you came back from Bayasa and you lost the Supreme Court, I saw the face all of you in that uh, national television. So I didn't know if you had an alternative to make sure you moved every soldier in this country. So when we succeeded, I said, okay, we yeah, will go for the third leg. So it was that third leg I came to Edo. And, and I made sure that uh, me I succeeded, but you did not uh, succeed. So, so now we are friends. So let my mom, let my mom be my girl. So he did me a retaliation. But even though in the Bible they say when when somebody does you bad, don't retaliate. Politically, when anybody does you bad, retaliate. Retaliate. Because if you don't retaliate, you don't know whether you survive the next one. You know, I do say that when a, when a madman flops you, don't run. Flop the madman back. So the madman will not have painful uh, it is. But if the madman flops you, the madman will be chasing you. But if you stop and flop the madman, that, ah, this is very painful. Then the madman will start uh, running. That's what is expected. All it is is not religion at all. When we go and worship, we worship. But when we're in the area, you do me, I will uh, do you back. That's how it's supposed to be. So, we are not saying that. You see, if you come to politics, politics is different as pastor. When you go to church, you preach as a pastor, you do according to the word of God and the Bible. But when you come to politics, it's not everything you follow like that. Because before you know it, they will have taken you off. If not, that will affirm your party needed this state badly. The badly. And thank God, your president has given us the best and the best infrastructure state. So I don't know again what you who can pay in our state again. Because I'm telling the result everywhere I'm going to. As I said, this result was given to me by President Muhammad Buhari, who is the father of your party. So people should surrender. There was no need of campaigning. The best result has announced by the president and commander in chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of uh, Nigeria. So I thank you for coming. I can see what is uh, going on here. And people like you who have worked in your state, as the people I invite to come and commission projects that will touch on the lives of the people. It is very, very important. And I know you, you are not somebody who would like to flatter anybody. You shoot to the issue threat. That's why when you are shooting threat and chairman of the party, some people are not happy. They have to gamble for you to leave. This is politics. <laughs> so you can see the reality. You, you may think you may think you want to threaten this. Some people will call you back, my friend. You are threatening too much. Man. I know Nigerians, they don't like anything that's too stress. They find a way. To sacrifice to make sure the man who wants to do the right thing is taken out of that uh, place. But God's time is the best, and I believe that was God's uh, time. As, as a Catholic, you do it. If God does not uh, sanction it, it will not uh, happen. Even though we, because you are too strong, anybody who, who watches you talk, sometimes 
the, the information does not know what to say again. So the day you are removed, we say, God, we thank you. Now, this poor woman has gone. Yeah. My friend Kaliba State, during the period of Dr. Peter Dele, we are very close to him. So I'm married between the relationship you had with Dr. Peter Audley, who is our father and who is our leader in this state. So I have invited you to talk to our people and then proceed to commission this project. Thank you and God bless you. Your Excellency, my brother, my friend, and my authentic comrade. Comrade, let's see, we can. I also uh, observe as we're coming in a former president of the uh, Nigeria Power Association, uh, I believe Mr. Okocha SN, the state chairman of the People's Democratic Party, River State, the very articulate, young, active, Dog Dead Commissioner of Works, who delivered a sort of tutorial on the construction of roads and wire bridges. I told him that he has an intellectual as a Commissioner of Works. Allow me to respect, now I remember, remember the people are very tall, um, former Deputy Speaker, I believe, of House of Representatives and other former honorable members of the House of Representatives from River State who are here. Your Excellency, allow me to also appreciate and formally introduce to you some members of my delegation who are coming here. You have already by yourself mentioned Honorable Professor Julius Hobbery, who you probably told me was your teacher. And uh, he's now teaching legislators in Abuja. We also have uh, Honorable Asaware, a ranking member of the House of Representatives, representing the great people of Uriomo, federal constituency in Edo State. We also have a very young, brilliant member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Dennis Idahosa. And Mr. Governor, one of the victims of your fight, some of them are here. The former, he was the running mate, uh, Deputy Governor running mate. I see them all. There are about 14 of them, Honorable Washington. They all came to show you their faces, the scars <laughs> of their faces arising from your battles in Benin. And uh, having listened to you, I am sure they are going back with those cars gone. Let me appreciate all the women who are here, many of whom take turns to dance and to entertain us, including those young girls, which the governor told me are students. And I told the governor, your people look very well fed. And uh, if I come here with uh, two of my sons, I guess they will have no reason to go back without collecting numbers and falling through. If we can touch you, if we can touch you, yes, so we can touch you. Thank you. As if you knew I ate so much last night and even this morning. But in spite of that, you can see my height has not improved. 
let me appreciate all the traditional rulers and royal fathers that are here. Sorry. And I'm very excited that the governor is at home Sorry. with our traditional rulers. Because um, we must respect tradition. We don't know our culture and tradition, we know who we are, we are I want to appreciate all of you, including the chairman of the traditional group. Let me appreciate the young man, the energy you show. When you see Governor Wicked doing what he's doing, he derives his strength from the fact that there are young men and women in this state who are ready to go the whole hall with him. To come to battle, they will join him in battle. Celebration, they will join him in celebration. And election day, they will join him in voting and defeating my party in river. So, we can, I will take some of the youth to a door so that your potency will be less and so that we may have opportunity here. But sir, on, my, on behalf of my delegation and my own self, and even on behalf of my family, I want to thank you, sir, for your service, for extending the invitation to me at this time. It means much more to me than you can imagine. Because, like you said, I rose from being a worker. The only thing you didn't mention is that I was once a factory hand, earning five shillings and three pence a day, you know, in the Texas factory. So I am an ex worker. And then I became an organizer of a textile workers, which is why I like to be able to sew. And the uh, the one you are wearing, you must listen. It's made by my people, if not here, so yes, but they are garment and fashion people. And then I became chairman of the party, of the governor of Edo, president of NLC, and then I was removed as chairman. You can't know who is who until you leave an office. And so, for you, I'm just another guest. For me, I think I'm a very, I feel very privileged that you are, and that in doing so, when we make promises, and people give us the benefit of the doubt, when the election season is over, we should move away from politics, 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 to projects, projects, projects. And that is why even our president, who is not very generous in praising people, he doesn't, he doesn't have much qualification in terms of flattery, he doesn't flatter. He won't give you recognition if you don't merit it. And that is why I can reveal this. It took him almost seven years before he covered the first national one. Because he said to me, when I was chairman, you don't throw honors away. You have to honor people who really merit it. One year in office, two years in office, is not enough for him to assess you. And you can see you are one of the very few. And I think it's sure that was particularly celebrated that President Mohammed you have to find in your person, based on your activities, in spite of your non flattery statement about his government, find you worthy of that honor as Mr. Um, it's Mr. Projects, I think River people should be proud because I people often say that prophets are not appreciated at home. God no wiki truly has transformed this city. And like you said, this is the only city when I was president of the NSC. We came here to organize the National May Day Rally. Usually we do May Day Rally in Abuja being the federal capital and Lagos, which is the industrial city of Nigeria, commercial city. But we decided to come to Rivers. But we also find your one of your predecessors, who you rightly acknowledge as your leader and my leader too. Uh, Dr. Peter Odili, he did some incredible work, and it was during their time they were struggling for what we refer to then as resource control. 
and as president of the NLC, I mobilized my colleagues that Nigeria can have justice. Having a peace and stability if there is no justice. And that it is unacceptable that people who live by the water can't drink the water because it has been polluted on account of economic activities of multinationals. And through that expectation, we have resources to run the federal government. That those states deserve to have extra money, not just for the fact that the oil comes from this part of the country, but engineers also, you are not an engineer, but as, as, as a, a former president of the NLC and as the governor of the state, I had those international engineers speak to the president. I know that places like this, you need some time to pile the road or pile the foundation before you can erect the structure. So the average cost of doing the kilometer of road in rivers ought to be one of the highest because of the nature of the terrain compared to what it would cost in a place like Abuja. So sir, I can reveal this to you. Even as we say those things I said in, in 2019, I admitted everything I said, even if I deny it, Gogo cannot deny it. Gogo is a terrible recorder. If <laughs> you record what I said, you don't press it and you get fat. The truth is, I haven't had anyone who is able to say with some measure of confidence that from the weekend you can just talk. You talk, you walk the talk. You walk the talk. As you say, talk is cheap. But like you said, in politics, I can't come to this place when we want the vote and begin to celebrate you. If I celebrate you, <laughs> like our president has celebrated you now, and you are using the certificate <laughs> to make the most potent campaign against my own party. <laughs> what can we say? Fats are stubborn. Fats are very, very stubborn. So I agree that even your worst critic will admit that Governor Wiki has made a difference. He made a difference not only in terms of projects, but he made a difference this afternoon. I join you in saying, because I've, seen, I've had cause to say that in Benin when I was governor of the state, that how can this country be governed by people who cannot be trusted? When politicians make statements, make promises, or even make agreements, or even enact laws, and the laws are not to be obeyed by themselves, they are to be obeyed by others. And when they default in their promises or their standing, they will say, but that is politics for you. There was a day I said to people in the do, I said, if to be a politician is to say what you know is not correct and push it, then you know that those who live as liars, according to my, my own religion, that shall not lie. And so if lying is the name of the game, it means we are all candidates for hell. And I don't want to go to hell. I sweat enough on this planet, and, and my hope is that. Um, when I depart, that I'll have a better place to transit. Two weeks ago, yes, let's see, I had an interview. And somebody told me, asked me, what are my views? With particular reference to the issues in PDP as they relate to your excellency. And I said, well, I don't think I'm the right person to be asked such a question. However, if he insists I must answer, I will say it. And I'll repeat it here. I said, we case my man of the year. Because this system that politics should not be about making agreements that we do not intend to deliver. Leadership is about character. 
And I asked the guy, I said, why will you assemble governors across party divide on their own free will? I believe in freedom of association. So they voluntarily decided to meet across party divide, both PDP governors, APC governors. They met in Asaba. And they were hosted. They had dinner, I guess they also had champagne as well. But the takeaway that was communicated to us was that they have said they are united on one issue. The next presidency, where it should come from. So if you voluntarily reach agreement, you are expected to obey your agreement. Now if you disobey the agreement, and somebody says no, me, I will start by the agreement. What is wrong with that? And I said to the person, I don't mention it here now, sir, but the problem in Nigeria is that the ordinary man on the street, and even the not so ordinary, they want courageous leaders, they want vocal leaders, they want people who will shoot straight, who they can predict their action. But a small segment of the elite, political elite, don't want straightforward talk. They will say you have to be politically correct. But the truth to be politically correct is to be smart in saying exactly what you did not do. <laughs> so you rather not be politically correct and be trusted by the people. The trust that Governor Wicke command in River State is not thrown at him. You earn it. You earn it. Three weeks ago, I think the British people had the Conservative Party had a new prime minister. And one of the things he said, he said, trust has been destroyed in his party. Because his predecessors deviated from the campaign manifesto on the basis of which they were elected. And he has to rebuild that trust. And he said, I will work hard to earn your trust. So it is not just about because we are developing countries. If we in Britain, our colonial past, they are dealing with issues of integrity, consistency, and reliability in leadership. So, sir, as a short part, I'm not expected to make his speech longer than my height. <laughs> Um, I listened to you attentively and you said Peter will be is coming tomorrow. I want to congratulate you for that. Because I also invited Peter will be when I was governor. And those executive exchanges have a way of communicating to our people that political divide is not war. And I also invited governors from other states to a do the last one week before the end of my tenure. I should say for them to see what I was able to do or some of the things I was able to do. I promise that when I get back to Abuja, I will take Mama Toka, which I see. The overhead bridge, the driver I saw. Is not important. So you are saying there are people who are occupying the office who are occupying and who are not occupying the form who commission carpets. Carpets. And they said they were flowers. Because the water is flowing under the bridge. So it is a flyover. But what I'm seeing here is a beautiful flyover that you will find anywhere in the world. I congratulate the contractors for earning your trust and delivery on the project. When the contractor said you were, uh, you gave them moral and financial support, I said it was better that doesn't need moral support. There's only more support you need. You pay, I work. You don't pay, you don't work. And they are not cheap. But they will give you good quality. You don't have to replace this road in the next 25 years. 
So I completely put it to the beta ionosis. Let me write up by saying that it is my hope and prayer that more people like you will come into government. Because a country, a country cannot be led by people who can sustain a fight of what we need. Somebody asked me, what the matter told you was, you cannot correct the truth. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't change a position you have taken on principle if the basis of the decision has not changed. That is character. I was about to talk about character when I was national chairman. The only thing I like to deny, because it is not the truth, person, I have never been a commander in chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces. I have never led or commanded the army, commanded the Air Force, not that hard to command the police. I was even told when I was growing up that by my height, I am not eligible to join any army. Whether Air Force, Navy, Army, Police. So I hereby publicly deny that I never use the armed forces <laughs> against you. <laughs> and yes. if anybody uses up the armed forces against you and you can prove it, at the general, you are here. <laughs> the scene of one man cannot be visited on another. <laughs> I deny I never did that and I will never do that. <laughs> I also want to remind your Excellency that before I was able to take up PDP from Edo State in 2007 to dismantle PDP ruthless reading machines at that time, <laughs> I had to launch what I call Woman War Vote Campaign. And I invited everybody. Some people accused me, why did I invite some military people who have retired? I said, the church is for sinners. <laughs> We need everybody to understand that the beauty of democracy is that the power to hire and fire leaders is vested on the people. And that's why I'm happy that incrementally the process is getting better. I think it's doing everything to make elections more transparent. So I am with you in your conviction, but we must deal with issues of character and trust in leadership. And I will join you on that, that fight. Like you said, I got fired. But why should I be fired? It's only my first time of being fired. As a union leader, I was fired. As a worker, I was fired. So I became a full-time union leader. So I retired as governor. I became chairman. I got fired. But my faith in Nigeria was not fired. I remain convinced that this country deserves our best. We must never allow any one of us to be frustrated. We must allow war disappointment to define our life. We must see beyond the challenges of the moment and believe that others can learn from it. As you can see, you inviting me here, even after I've been fired as chairman, <laughs> feel that there are still people who are pushing me. Yes, yes. Yes. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for this rare privilege. May God bless you and God shield you from any principality as you will see in the church. And may God enrich you with wisdom. Because power without wisdom can be dangerous. That you are able to remember your community is about wisdom. So people govern when they have left. They go back home, they are going to say, so you are here now. They all the things. No man, take care and you pursue with us. Bro, you don't do. What are you going to do? Then you come home. I'm sure even walking through the road, I can see your people. As you are one of the who's last shot man by your side, whether you're free or something. Now, how many governors can actually work like that? And uh, you, you when you want to tell the security men, take it easy. Allow the people to beat me, allow them to come out and sh share their feelings. That is leadership. May God bless you. And all of you, media, uh, we have others, all of the guests. Those are the things remember to mention. Or give me that if I didn't mention your name, because I didn't have uh, a comprehensive protocol list for the start of all the protocols if we establish by the city government. Thank you and God bless you. <laughs>
Yes, yes, sir. That song, they very important.